If you've been to a Wisconsin Rattlers game, well, you've seen baseballs popped up, granted out, thrown, caught. Or Justin Felder explains one baseball that drives around the field. When a coach makes the call to the bullpen, it can be a long walk, and the Timber Rattlers have you covered. So no, everybody really knows what it is. They're like, oh, there's the bullpen cart. The bullpen cart made its debut last year in Grand Chute, offering pitchers transportation from the center field pen to the mound. These round rides of different designs were common throughout baseball in the 1970s. I need a cart, quick, mine's on the other side of the stadium. It's the bullpen cart. Well, I remember it from the movie Major League and Tom Berenger driving it to go find Rene Russo. And why it went away, I'm not exactly sure either. Now only a handful of minor league and independent league teams use bullpen carts. Cards. It's nostalgic and takes you back to a different era and I'm sure there's a good reason why teams uh, aren't doing it anymore, but we think it's pretty cool. The card does a lap every pitching change driven on this day by Ryan and Josh, right. college students who work pregame as parking attendants. One drives, one has to help them open the gate, close the gate, and uh, back in. Convenient as it may seem, neither Timber Rattlers pitchers nor their opponents have exactly been lining up to get rides out to the mound. I'm too nervous to ride in it. They kind of have their routine of running out. Some adventurous players will take the ride. The cart also can deliver equipment to the dugout. I've just never done it. And I've been here for this my second year. So it's actually, now it's my second year, I might have to do it now that I think about it. The bullpen cart may not make a return to the majors anytime soon, but it'll have a parking spot for a long time to come in Wisconsin. In Grand Chute, Justin Felder, Fox 11 Sports.